Hey guys, so the topic we'll be talking about today is how the Aptera beats out the Tesla Model 3 in many different areas. So first, Aptera is a San Diego based EV startup. I'm sorry if the audio isn't that good and if it's like a bit subpar to my other videos. I'm having some technical difficulties with the lavalier microphone right now. It'll be fixed in no time, don't worry. Anyway, this video has some exclusive information that you can't really find anywhere else and these are all relating to the Aptera. So I contacted the company and they actually replied to me very kindly and answered all three of my questions. You've got to thank them and that also means you will be getting these exclusive information as well that you can't find anywhere else. Watch to the end of the video too so you know everything I say in this video and you don't miss out on anything that's very special. If at any point of this video you want to reserve the car, it only costs $100 and I have a link that even brings down um, the price to $70. Remember this is all fully refundable at any time so yeah, there, I don't think there's any reason not to. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So first, if we're not already all caught up, Aptera aims to make the most efficient electric car. And currently, the highest configuration of the Aptera can go up to 1,000 miles for just under 45,000 USD. That's actually not bad for 1,000 miles. Most gas vehicles can't go that far because there's really not a point. So yeah, this if you think electric cars can't go that far, this is completely breaking the stereotype. And their cheapest configuration starts at 25k USD, that goes 250 miles. Still not bad, just a bit less than the 1000 miles in my opinion. So here comes the exclusives. I contacted Aptera with three of my most important questions that I could not find the answer to anywhere else. So first, Aptera features their own self-driving counterparts to Tesla and other industry leaders. They call it safety pilots. And what we didn't already know was the price, the capabilities, and how they plan to roll out this feature. They personally said that they are working on a level 2 autonomy, and this will gradually be updated through over-the-air updates similar to how Tesla handles their software. Now you might be thinking, Okay, that doesn't exactly shred the Tesla Model 3, does it now? In fact, it's substandard, and you're not wrong. But here's what you have to consider. Aptera is still relatively new, and by relatively new, I mean they have been around for a long time, it's just that they went bankrupt and now they're finally back. So it's kind of like a new company now, and they're revisiting a lot of their old ideas with new methods. So. In the future, they will likely add more features and more data. And since a safety pilot only costs $1,300, I think this in the price department definitely shreds Tesla's full self driving coming at, uh, what was it? $10,000 now, I believe? That's crazy. So this will be the equivalent to Tesla's Autopilot 2, which is also level 2 autonomy. And so you can't really bash on Aptera that much. Sure, level 2 autonomy isn't that great, but that's literally the same as Tesla's autopilot right now. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a huge Tesla sheep. I even pre-ordered their Tesla Cybertruck, which is how much I like them. So yeah, don't get the wrong message. I still think Tesla is doing great, and I love what they're doing. I'm just saying that this, this new startup is... I think they have a lot of potential, and this is why I'm covering them so extensively. Back to the topic. Aptera is working on a lot of features in their safety pilot. Now, a few notable ones that I think they think um, are most important right now are facial tracking, lane keep, adaptive cruise, and emergency braking. These four I think they're working on currently, and I think they're going to put most of their efforts in because just these are going to be used most often, like especially emergency braking. If they're going to crash into something, the car can help you assist and the car can assist you into not crashing so i think this just really helps now if you're interested i also have two other vehicles talking about this car so subscribe to this channel and you can watch them later maybe after this video too now here comes exclusive info number two with most wall outlets around you just in your house laying around they don't really lay around but you know what i mean they are 
I think approximately 110 volts. And with that, if you just plug your car into the watt light, like how you would charge your phone, um, the Aptero would take around one hour to charge 13 miles or overnight that can get you I think 150 miles, if I'm doing my math correctly. That's over four times faster than it would take to charge a Model 3 on average, and up to 6.5 times faster on a good day. Not to mention the additional power you'll get from the Aptera with the solar panels. And this is too good to be true, right? I mean, nothing can charge that quickly. The Teslas, they charge around two to four miles per hour with the wall outlet that you charge your phone with. So how does the Aptera achieve this monstrous, just how? When I first read this, I was baffled. I, I thought I thought they made a typo or something because when they replied to me, I had no idea what they were saying. I said 13 miles per hour charged, like really? And they're actually being serious. So. Basically, how they achieve this is that Aptera is just, they're so much more efficient than a standard vehicle. Their drag coefficients are nearly zero, which means um, if you drive a normal car, you have to push air out of the way the faster you go. Now, the Aptera, its design, like you see here on the screen, it's a teardrop design and it's inspired by the Formula One racing vehicle, so you know the drag is very low. Now, since they designed it this way, there's virtually no drag and that means it's super efficient. Also with three wheels touching the ground, they are minimizing friction and using the most out of their traction. So this just, everything about their design makes them more efficient and that way they're able to go further with less energy. So the Aptera actually charges slower than a Tesla with a 110 volt charger. It's just that it uses power so efficiently that it can go much longer distances with the same energy use. That's crazy to me. I still can't believe it. I also really, really hope that Tesla can take some inspiration from the Aptera and maybe in, uh, improve on their drag coefficients too uh, in their later models because that can really help with their industry leading batteries because they can already go nearly the farthest not including the Aptera because it, it's not, it technically isn't a car, it's like a three-wheeler. So most EVs cannot beat Tesla in their range department. So if they can make their drag um, even less than before, I think they can just dominate the market. Also, if you're liking the video, don't forget to like because that really helps me. I mean, seeing the likes, they, they really give me the dopamine rush that I need every day. So yeah, that makes my day. All right, back to the video though. This three-wheeler EV is definitely not for everyone. <laughs> just from the design, I can already tell that like half of you watching just think this is ugly. And that's fine. I think when I went to school, I showed this car to everyone. I was like, yo, this is so cool. And then like, I think most people just said, that looks even worse than the Tesla Cybertruck. And I like the Cybertruck too. So I was like, what? Okay, I don't understand any of them. But just this car, I think, in my opinion, it looks really cool. The design, oh, it's amazing. The three-wheeler and the fact that it has butterfly doors, that just makes the experience feel a lot more premium, I think. Uh, most of the expensive vehicles like the Ford GT or something, they have uh, butterfly wings. So these, I think, just really elevate the vehicle design. And yeah, it does only sit two people, but in my opinion, since uh, I don't think I'm needing to drive around other people. So I think just me and maybe a passenger is perfect. But yeah, like I don't think for me, I would need that many seats. Like uh, the Cybertruck, that seats six people. That's crazy. But yeah, two people for me is fine. And if I'm getting groceries uh, or I don't know what I get, maybe I have to put my Apple products in the trunk, you know, that's still good. But just. I don't need to sit that many people. So this EV to me is amazing, but maybe for you it's not, and I totally understand. Now, if you're really interested though, I have this last piece of exclusive info for you. Now, this I think is most important for people who want to get the car. So I asked them if someone were to reserve a vehicle today, when should they expect to get the EV by? And they responded, if someone were to reserve right now, then 
they can expect the vehicle delivery to be around mid to late 2022. Now, that is a bit far away, but I think 2022, since we're already in 2021, right? It's just around a, a year and a half away. And this is a completely new concept. No one has ever made uh, a EV that can go that far and just it's charged by solar panels. Their design is that it basically you basically never have to charge the car itself because you just park it outside and it charges faster than you can basically uh, use it. Because the average person drives around like 12 miles per day and in the, the sun itself, the Aptera can charge up to 20 miles per day. So this is just, the design is amazing. But yeah, if you were to pre-order today, it would be another year and a half for you to get the vehicle. If you're in school or something, then I think this is perfect. You can reserve the car and once it comes out, you'll be the only person with it. And that's amazing to me. That's just feels really good. So you also shouldn't forget that just reserving it with my link, you only need to spend $70. And remember, this is fully refundable too. So if in a, in a year and a half, you're in a slightly less fortunate financial position, or you found some other better vehicle like the Cybertruck, which I don't think is better actually, I might choose this car over the Cybertruck. But just if you find something else that maybe fits you better, then it's totally fine. You can just cancel the, the order and you'll get your money back. I don't think there's um, any downsides to actually pre-ordering this car right now, aside from losing, temporarily losing $70. So yeah, check out my link, please like and subscribe, and that's really lit it for this video. I really hope you liked it, and I'm really sorry about the audio issues. That'll be fixed very soon, trust me. That's it, click on the video right now on the screen. Um, these two videos you can keep watching. They're also about the cyber trip. They're also about the Aptera EV, so they're amazing. All right, so that's it. Click on the video on the screen right now. And that's about it, really. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, and don't forget to like.